Hey guys, welcome to Odyssey USA. I'm Daniel and today I want to talk about what your first mod should be. Let's go to the garage. Hey guys, so you've got a new rig and you want to figure out what the first mod to it should be. Well, in October of 2019, I was in the same boat. Uh, I'd never owned an off-road oriented vehicle like that before. So uh, when I bought my 19 Wrangler, I did a lot of research. I got on forums, uh, read a lot of articles, and got on YouTube, and had to make a decision. What was my goal? Um, I determined pretty quickly that I didn't want to do rock climbing. Nothing, nothing extreme anyway. You know, maybe stuff that is this big, maybe it won't hit the rockers. So nothing more extreme than that. Uh, I knew I wanted to do more than just fire roads, so something in between. I uh, also kept an eye towards being capable in a certain amount of snow, so I wanted to retain that ability. Um, the first thing that I considered was tires, so let's look at that. Tires. Out of anything that you can do to your rig, tires can be one of the biggest factors in its capability. It's one of the easiest changes that anybody can do actually to any vehicle, including sports cars, etc. You know, uh, to increase the capability of it, you could go with an MT tire. Perhaps there's a lot of mud in your area or where you go off-roading, uh, there's mud in that area. Um, Perhaps you're rock crawling. There's a lot of soft compound MT tires that excel at rock climbing. Um, AT tires are a compromise. They're a great all around tire. Uh, they really are getting better and better though. Uh, the compromises are less and less apparent as time goes on. Um, I'm currently running a Baja Boss AT, which is pretty stout so far I'm happy with it and it's three peak snowflake rated so maybe that's a factor for you the three peak you get on snow um, nothing's really going to be great nice so maybe that's a factor uh, the second thing way down the list on that is going bigger on tires bigger tire yeah, it'll get you more ground clearance, and uh, if you're rock climbing or going other over obstacles, it'll help your breakover angle. Uh, that can definitely help you there. It's kind of a slippery slope, though, because it kind of leads into the next mod that you might consider if it's available for your vehicle, which is suspension mods, a.k.a. A lift because some vehicles like my uh, Wrangler it will run into issues pardon the trimmer outside it will run into issues with rubbing on control arms or sway bar so um, you may need to lift the vehicle and lastly that may tie into that uh, if you don't get a new offset of wheel you may consider a spacer, which is probably the most economical option. There are very high quality spacers out there. Uh, I know of one other YouTuber that has put well over 100,000 miles, plenty of off-road uh, in that 100,000 plus miles, and not had an issue with his uh, name brand spacer. Um, I went with Bora. Uh, I think it's a company called Motorsport Tech. They're in Nevada. And I had those custom made at one inch because I didn't really want my tires sticking out too much. Uh, it's not a regulation thing around here. It's just more aesthetic and I didn't want to, you know, just have it sticking out and slinging mud and all that stuff everywhere. Um, so out of all these, this will be your most cost effective mod, I think, uh, for what you get out of it. Will it make it more capable going down here? Oh yeah, it definitely will. But one of the first mods, especially if you don't already have an MT or an AT tire on your vehicle as you purchased it, go with that. 
Um, now, I didn't go with any of these. I went with uh, another mod because my vehicle already came with, uh, although modest, it came with an AT tire on it. And we wanted to get out really quick and start using our Jeep for what we purchased it for. Uh, we're gonna go out and make some trips, get a couple off-road parks to get some skills, uh, some experience there, and go camping. So we wanted to get out sooner than later. We didn't wanna get into the slippery slope of a cascade of mods. Uh, oh, we'll get out there eventually. We just wanna do this, or we wanna do that next and that, and you just never get out there, you know, at least anytime soon. So I wanted to get out there sooner than later. My first mod was this. I went with a bumper and a winch. I got this winch $400 off retail off Facebook Marketplace. So that helped make the decision for me. I wanted to cut some weight off the front so I went with an aluminum bumper. In retrospect, I don't think it saved much, if any. And Maximus 3 tow loops. Accepts a three quarter inch pin like I have in the Crosby shackles. It is a closed loop recovery system component. Unlike what comes on the stock JK, which is a hook that is open on one side. Yeah, my concern was in a recovery situation, if you're pulling towards the passenger side, it's not very comforting thinking that it may just be barely hanging on the toe strap or uh, kinetic rope. I just wouldn't do it. Uh, so that's why the upgrade on the Sahara. Um, I have a similar one on the JL Rubicon that my wife drives. So I'll be upgrading those soon. And what goods a winch without? Recovery gear. Here I have two recovery rope dampeners, aka blankets. This is a recovery frame that takes the place of a snatch block. Um, some people have their preferences. I just wanted to keep it lightweight yet functional. If you want to find out more about that, you can look that up. Again, this is just all kind of a general guide right here. Uh, the information's on the manufacturer's websites. So you can look up the names as I say them. Uh, this is a bubble rope tree saver. You can see the strap is a little wider than normal. Uh, that's so it doesn't cut into the tree and damage the tree to the point maybe we kill it. And then uh, the tree's no longer there for the next person that comes along and needs to recover off of it, perhaps. So the next thing I have is Crosby shackles. And guys, please use certified equipment that has a brake strength rating assigned to it. If you can't find it on their website and you call them and they don't know it or can't give you one, don't buy it. Move along. Go find something that is safe. You may very well be dependent on that. I suggest having at least four soft shackles. Uh, they have a brake strength rating as well. It'll be on there. This one's 30,000 pounds. Um, I have a collapsible shovel. Some prefer a full size shovel, but space is at a premium in a Jeep. So I'm trying to save space in my bag as well, which makes the bag smaller theoretically. And I have a kinetic recovery rope. Uh, that I can use even if my winch was not functional. Uh, I would need a second vehicle for that to be feasible uh, and both of them to have two good strong recovery points. Uh, basically you're using this to yank another vehicle out. Please seek proper instructions. Uh, you, I'm sure you can find it on uh, bubberope.com on how to properly use that and YouTube. Another one that is around is dead man uh, they are a recovery kit manufacturer that helps you in the event that there is no other anchor point around such as a tree um, you can bury it in sand or dirt if there's nothing around you and uh, there's a proper way again 
follow instructions to secure your winch line to it and pull yourself out if there's no trees around. Uh, you can also use it to wrap around boulders. Uh, you can use it as a makeshift tree saver if you need to, or you can use it as a second anchor point um, if you're doing a multi-point recovery. Last but not least, a bag. Try to get one that's just big enough to hold everything. This one's still a little big. It's actually smaller than the first one I had. Um, that way it's just not all floppy and everything and uh, takes up extra space. Well, like I said, this is just a general guide. I'm trying to help you guys um, through the process of figuring out what your first mod should be. Uh, it's totally great if you want to go with tires first based on your needs or you got other mods perhaps already you've already got the suspension you've already got the bigger tires maybe you've got a little rubbing and you need some uh, wheel spacers hub centric wheel spacers by the way uh, to, to make sure things don't rub and there's lighting there's all kinds of mods out there but um, I just want to say thanks for watching if you appreciate some of the information especially if you're new to off-roading like I was and I could have used something like this. It would have been very helpful to watch. If you find it helpful, please like it and subscribe. I do have an installation video uh, for a JL Wrangler. Um, I only own a JL Wrangler and a JK, so I don't have a whole lot to work on. But I'm going to be installing Maximus 3 tow loops on the back of that. It's an old installed video. I've got to tweak it a little bit. Um, after that, though, we are going to be sharing video from our three-week epic vacation that we took out west. We went to Black Hill, South Dakota, Bighorn National Forest in Wyoming, uh, did some trails there as well. Uh, then we went to the Absorca Mountain Range. It was beautiful. Uh, we went up to uh, Pole Bridge, uh, Montana, Glacier National Park area, uh, did some trails out there. It was gorgeous. Um, we went on the Magruder Corridor, 93 miles of remote road, fill up before you go. Uh, then we went back to Yellowstone, Grand Teton, through the Wind River Range, down to Colorado, and then back home. Um, it, it was kind of unfortunate that it had to end, but I'm very thankful that we were able to take three weeks. We've been waiting two years. COVID put us off a whole year. So, uh, I was definitely uh, eager to get out there this last July and uh, uh, we'll get that video edited and shared with you as soon as possible. Again, if you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, share the channel if you can, and uh, I'll see you around.